Greetings. It is Omonike. And what I'm showing you is that I have rearranged the furniture in my home. Now, every few, let's say, months, or, or just when the spirit hit me, I feel like rearranging my furniture because it gives a different energy in the home. And, you know, you just want to keep good vibes. You want to keep good energy. So I have a small home. Oh my goodness, I think I hear the cat. Yeah, there's a cat out here. But anyway, you hear that cat? Anyway, so this chair was diagonal over here and for years I had it over here um, and for a long time I didn't want anything any chairs near the window because I wanted to look out the window but that's why I have this little nook over here and this wall is the wall of bibs because these paintings, these artistry is by Charles Bibbs. Let me show you. I love his work. And I think you can get them on charlesbibbs.com. But anyway, I know like they have something called feng shui. And they said, don't have a chair by the door or whatever. Man, look, I'm not Asian, <laughs> okay? It's good, to, you know, if you want to pick up um, different cultures and all that stuff. But you have to be, in the final analysis, you have to be true to yourself. So, as you see, I have my shoes over here. I thought it was cute to keep it like this. And I have my art. These three. The name escaped me. Sumchi, something like that. Can't remember. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do this painting that I got from um, Diana Sharon Young, I had it framed. It's pretty big. Because if you can see me standing next to it, it's pretty tall. And the, uh, the uh, hooks they gave me, they're too small for it. And it's pretty heavy. So whenever I feel safe, I'm going to have someone come in and either I'm going to get different hooks to, and they'll hang it up or I'm thinking have this on the wall of bibs and take that down and put that here because there is a, uh, a hook there. There's a nail there for it. Yes. And just to let y'all know, this is a punu mask. It's a judgment mask for when people go to court. And here is another punu mask of a maiden, a beautiful maiden. Yeah. Anyway, I'm showing you guys this because I believe it's a very good thing to change around your house and change around the energy of your house. And it, you know, it refreshes your house and it refreshes you. 
I also sage the home. I start with the back of the home, which is in my laundry room, which we're not going in there. But I start with the laundry room. I open up everything, open up the closets, open up, oh, it's hot. <laughs> but I don't feel like turning on the air right now. The closets, the cupboards, and I sage, and I say a prayer. Either, you know, you can make up your own prayers, or one from the Bible, or from whatever text that you believe in. You could even use uh, Yonler Van Zant's stuff. She has some um, books. Yeah. So, I just wanted to... Um, show the change that I had in my home and I keep it light and airy it's very African centric very Afrocentric but it's light and airy all right let me go didn't want to spend too much time peace